Your Raspberry Pi is almost certainly stuck in a tiny case sat on your table or desk or close to your TV for some media center magic. But what if you wanted to set it free? Several portable kits are available, but they have various shortcomings when it comes to true portability, or they focus too heavily on specific tasks such as retro gaming. Your Raspberry Pi can be truly liberated with the Raspad kit. It's basically a case and touchscreen that lets you turn your Pi into a tablet computer. Raspad 3 has recently been funded on Kickstarter, utilizing the power of the Raspberry Pi 4. Unlike other Raspberry Pi cases, however, a bit of assembly is required. In the box, you'll find the Raspad 3 case, standard USB and Ethernet cables, two micro HDMI cables, and a USB Type-C cable. These short extension cables enable the Pi's ports to be positioned around the case, rather than be limited to the Pi's precise position under the display. There's also a micro SD card extension board and ribbon cable to attach the extension board to a new satellite slot for the SD card. Three heat sinks are included for cooling the SOC, the RAM and the USB controller. And there's also a mountable fan and power cable. An Axel solder-free shim sits on the GPIO pins to control display rotation. And the kit includes the required nine mil and four mil screws for mounting the Raspberry Pi, the fan and securing the case. It's important to note that the Raspad 3 case is specifically designed for Raspberry Pi 4 boards. All the versions of the Raspad support older Raspberry Pi boards. Case assembly shouldn't take more than 20 minutes. A screwdriver is included to save time. Now, our unit had a slightly long USB 3.0 extension cable, which complicated installation of the Pi 4 slightly. This is a minor niggle, however. Once assembled, the Raspad OS needs to be installed on a micro SD card. The download server was pretty slow during testing, so it's worth starting this before you begin assembly of the case. Measuring just four gigabytes, the operating system, once unzipped, expands to 8.3 gigabytes. So you'll need at least a 16 gigabyte card for the Raspad OS. You're ready to roll once it's installed. A brief setup sequence requires you to set the location for Wi-Fi and to connect to your network. But after that, the portable touch-based Raspberry Pi 4 experience begins. The case's display is a 1280 by 810 inch IPS 10 point multi-touch touchscreen with 1610 aspect ratio and video supplied by one of the Pi 4's dual HDMI ports. The other port can be accessed for connecting the Raspad to an external display. The standard Raspberry Pi OS features a selection of pre-installed software, such as Minecraft Pi, LibreOffice, SD card tools, and much more. These are all available in Raspad OS, along with tools from Raspad developers Sunfounder. So what can you do with a Raspad 3? Well, pretty much anything you can do with a Raspberry Pi 4, with the added bonus of portability. During testing, office tasks were executed, the web browsed, media enjoyed on Kodi, and frags fired in retro video games. All of those amazing Raspberry Pi projects that you've seen from programming in Python to learning how to use Linux are particularly suited to the Raspberry 3. While building a nature cam or running a low budget space program might not suit the tablet form factor, you're stepping into new territory regardless. Think the default storage option is limiting? Well, there is space in the case for extra storage to be mounted, although you will need to limit this to low power flash or an efficient SSD for the best results. Going portable naturally limits you by battery life. It's difficult to gauge exactly how long the battery lasts on this device. Estimates put it at around two hours, but it fortunately charges relatively quickly in at least half that time. A decent kit, with a spec determined by which Raspberry Pi 4 model you choose, two, four, and eight gigabyte versions are available. The Raspberry 3 is hampered only by the need to keep access to the GPIO and CSI port, this is for a camera, limited to a narrow gap. It's understandable why this approach is used, but ultimately you get the feeling there could have been another way.
But whether you're looking for a way to turn your Pi into a tablet or simply want the benefit of total portability, the Raspad 3 is arguably the best current option. Battery life isn't great, but the battery charges quickly. The case design makes a kit completely flexible. Ultimately, this is something that any Raspberry Pi fan is going to want to get their hands on. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Make Use Of channel for tips, tricks, product reviews, and giveaways like this one. If you're looking for a way to make your Raspberry Pi 4 portable and enjoy the benefits of a touchscreen display, we've teamed up with Raspad to give you the chance to win a Raspad 3. No Raspberry Pi is included. To enter this giveaway, read the full review and type the code into the competition widget. And that code is RADRASPAD. The competition ends in around three weeks time and the winning entry will be notified by email. Get your entries in today and good luck.